What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel Final Cut Kids here. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to edit really cool videos for YouTube. So first of all what is an edit? Okay now an edit is where we have clip A and clip B and we want to join them together. Now the way we do this, we have to use a program, which is an editing program, such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, Final Cut Pro. All right, there, there are many more, but those are the main three that I've used personally uh, for a long time. I think I started Adobe when I was CS3 or something, uh, and my main go-to program was Final Cut 7, but now they don't make that anymore. We have got Final Cut X, so it's come a long way uh, since then, but the programs have since then developed and they've got a ton of cool features on them now. The workflow is, is a lot easier. So how do we join clip A and clip B? Well, instead of me talking about it, let's dive straight into the computer and let's get on with it. First things first, what we want to do is we want to sort and arrange our footage because this is going to make our lives so much easier going into the editing software. So here I have a couple of clips. So first of all, let's make a new folder. So these are time-lapse clips. So I'm gonna make a folder for time-lapse and just drop these into there. I'm gonna make another one for music. It's always good to do this beforehand, guys, because it does become pretty messy, especially when you want to edit really fast. Uh, it can be a real pain. And uh, We've got uh, some graphic overlays there, like a little film burn. So just make that for graphics and drop that in there and then call this project. Obviously, if you've got multiple days, then you can call the project actually what what it is. So then you can make different subfolders uh, within this folder, day one, day two. Also good to have a, a date on it as well. And if you've got different cameras, then within the day, use uh, Canon 60 or A7S II, PMW Z150. It all depends what cameras you've got. Okay, it just makes your life a hell of a lot easier. So now we've done that, what we want to do is we want to open up our editing software. And the editing software of my choice is Final Cut 10. So if we just open that up, now as you can see here, we've got our timeline and we've got um, our browser window here which is where we want to add our footage to. So there's a few ways we can do this. We can right click and we can come down to import media and then that will open up another box where we'll have to say our desktop and there's our project. We just click that and bring the footage in. We can press Command I which will also do the same thing, which is a, a fast shortcut. Or we can come up to File, we can come to Import, and then over to Media. Or you can just drag the footage directly into the timeline and it'll store it up here as well. But now what we have here is you can see these little tabs. So if we just click on Project, that's everything. If we click on Music, it's only the music that we have, Graphics, and time lapse and that's all the footage so it's organized it already for us so that's going to save massive amounts of time otherwise if you've got project and you've got multiple things going on so you've got music and you've got sound effects and you've got different cameras it's going to be completely messy and you won't know where the hell you are so it's always good do it beforehand and you are kushti now that we've uh, now that we've done that we can select our footage so like I said, we just want to join clip A and clip B together. So we can just drag that straight down into the timeline. Or what you can do, if you only want to select a small part of the uh, clip, 
is press I. Now, what I means is you set an endpoint. I don't know if you saw that move then. Now, as you can see, the clip is shortened now, it's clip in half. So, what the I is, I is our endpoint of the clip. And if we press O, as you can see now, it's just selected that portion of that clip. That is our out point. Okay, so now if I drag that down, you can see the size difference. It's only selected that portion of the clip that we wanted. This is obviously the whole clip. Uh, and there's a few ways then you can trim this down. So let me just get rid of this. So if you come over to the to the end of the clip, you can see these uh, these little handle things appear. If you just click down on that and then drag the footage whichever way uh, you want. Either if you want to make it longer, drag it out. If you want to make it shorter, drag it in. And uh, that's that's how you shorten some clips and select them and bring them down to the timeline. So now we want to add another clip to this clip. So we want to create, obviously, a longer video than 2.25 seconds. I mean, that's not much of a video, to be honest. So now if we want to just highlight another clip, so this one right here, and we want to drag all of it down. And because this is a magnetic timeline within Final Cut uh, 10, it's pretty handy, actually. And I, I didn't used to like it, but now I much prefer it. It, uh, it really is helpful. And once you keep dragging these clips down onto the timeline, then obviously the video gets longer and that's how you create the edit. And what another cool feature with this magnetic timeline is when you drag a clip down, if you just hold it in between the two clips, it'll just slot it in, which is quite handy. Um, and if you just pick it up, you can just move it around and so on. If you want to put another clip straight on top you can do that so you can build multiple layers within the editing software so if we just play that now it's going to cut to one cut to another one cut back so you can really get creative i mean overlaying clips like this is quite handy if you're doing interviews and you still want the voice underneath um, but you want to show the surrounding areas then you would use um, this overlaying technique and what this is also called, and what people use, is B-roll, uh, also known as a GV, which means general view. So yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a cool little technique, but I mean that's that's if you're really getting down into interviews and you want to overlay it over sound. Okay, so now that we've got our clips down on the timeline, what we want to do is we want to add some music. So let's come up to our music, and let's click that. And let's bring that down onto our timeline. Now, with the music, if we play this right now, you can see these levels. They are quite high, all right? Now, in broadcasting, um, you would want to keep these at about minus 12. And what this does is set, sets the levels. So instead of just pressing play and having the music blaring out of the speakers and it's all crackling and you blow your speakers up that's not good okay so if you set your audio levels to minus 12 you're going to keep everything within this and it's not going to come up here it's not going to peak it's not going to hit the red so if i play it now there you go you can see that it's it's just hovering just underneath that, which is a good volume. I mean, sometimes I've been on YouTube and played some videos and they just haven't set the audio levels and it's just been horrendous and I just clicked off straight away. So always set your audio levels. I think for me, audio levels are 90% of a video. If your audio is horrific, it doesn't matter about the visuals because the first thing you hear is is the uh, is the audio. You can make your footage look whatever you want it to with effects, and you can put so much green into it. But if the audio is rubbish, then you you're just gonna switch off. 
So audio for me is is a definite. But I will go into more depth on audio in another tutorial. I mean, guys, leave some comments down below and let me know what you guys think about that. Now that we've got our three clips, we've added our track. Let's just bring that over. Obviously, this track is too long. And like I said before, we could either just grab this handle and we can drag it in, which is one way to cut it down. Or what we can do is we can use our blade tool. So if we press B on our keyboard, it brings up this little standing knife. And if we just hover it over there, and then because it snaps to the end, just hit that. And now we can just highlight this clip and delete it. Uh, if we come into the sound bar here, so if we just grab this little dot here and drag it over, then that'll smooth it out nicely and give it a nice uh, finish. And if we do the same at the beginning, just drag this out just a touch more. There you go. So now if we play this full frame, So if you're trying to create a little holiday video, I mean, this is uh, it's, this is very simple to do, guys. Like I've just shown you, we've got three clips there so far, and that's all we've done is we've come up to our little browser and dragged them and brought them down onto the timeline. So simple to do. And within, what, a couple of minutes, we've already got a small little edit of time-lapse footage with some music added. I mean, what we can do as well is we could drag our graphic if we wanted to uh, bring this down as well so the way we do this now is we'd come up to our blend mode and we could screen it and drag that down to there opacity so now we've got a nice little effect over the top if we uh, we drag that there and that's it we can also add some transitions so if we press command T create transition anyway what this is going to do now is create a nice dissolve from one bit of footage to the next so let's play it as you can see there it just dissolves in nicely um, you can download different transitions. There's some great ones online. Uh, all the transitions are in here. So click on that and you know, there are tons and tons and tons, especially on the internet. You can pretty much get anything you need. Okay, and one last little thing guys, now that we've created our small little edit, what we need to do now is we need to export it so we can use it for social media, put on Facebook, things like that. Um, even burn it to DVD. So the way we do that is if we come up to our edit here, and if we press O, remember out point, and come back to the beginning, and we press I for our in point. Now that's selected all of our clip and footage. If we come up to here, share the project, Click that, and now if we come down to 1080p, so now that is our title. That's what the, the video is going to be saved as. Uh, if we go into settings, I've already created this for 1080p, um, but you can you can change things in that, and that's the frame rate and the resolution uh, that the the footage is in. And so if we hit next then it's going to ask us where do we want to save this to now this is our project that we made earlier with all our folders in so if I open that now we can add a new folder within this and call it exports so now come down to save hit save and now that is going to save our video into our project folder in exports so guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial on the basics of editing. There is so much more uh, to editing and I'll be covering 
a lot more in these tutorials going forwards. If you've got questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if, if you know how to edit or if you do anything different when you're editing, what programs you use and what do you think the best features are um, compared to Final Cut Pro X. They all do the same job at the end of the day and that is what we want to achieve is the same goal. So if you've got two different programs but they all do the same job, kushti. Also guys, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and please smash that big red subscribe button right there, right there, down there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, signing up. <music>